In this lesson, I'd like to show you how you can customize the dock in Snow Leopard. Now, the dock is not new in Snow Leopard. As a matter of fact, it's been around since OS X was released. However, they've added a bunch of nice features in Snow Leopard that really enhances how the dock works. The dock works by simply clicking on an icon to launch an application that's displayed within it. So, for instance, if I click the address book icon, it's going to launch my address book application for me to use. I'm going to go ahead and quit the address book. And let's see what options are available to customize the dock. If I click on the Apple menu and go to System Preferences, I'm going to choose the Dock option to open up the Dock Preferences pane. Now, the first option I have is to adjust the size of the dock. So if I drag the dock slider to the left, it's going to shrink it at the bottom of my screen. And if I drag it up, it's going to enlarge it. Go ahead and position this back to the center. I can also turn on magnification, which allows me to magnify the icon as I move my cursor above each icon. I'm going to turn that option off for now. I can also position my dock on the left, on the right, or the bottom. And finally, I can also choose how my windows are minimized into the dock. So for example, right now the genie effect is shown. And if I click on this yellow button, it's going to minimize this window to the right side of the dock. To open it again, I can just click on that icon and it's going to display it. To really see what it's doing there, you can hold down the shift key as you click that yellow button and it's going to do this in slow motion. Pretty cool. I can do the same thing to open it. You can really get an idea of what this animation does. I can do this all day. Now the other option I have is scale effect. And once again, I'll just show you in slow motion what this does. It simply minimizes it in a more basic fashion. So I'll just reopen this and I'm going to leave the minimize windows set to scale effect. Something new in Snow Leopard is the ability to minimize these windows into the application icon instead of over here to the right side of the dock. So if I choose that option, and I minimize my window, it goes right down into the system preferences icon in the dock instead of to the right, freeing up a little bit more space in the dock. I just click on the system preferences icon to open that window again. I can also turn on animate opening applications and it's really hard to see this anymore because OS 10 and the latest Mac computers are so fast that you really don't have much time to see this. Let's give it a shot though. If I click the address book icon, you can see that it bounces a little bit for a second when it first opens. I'll quit address book. And if I were to turn that option off, then it just automatically launches without showing it. Just a little extra feature inside of the dock. I'll quit address book, turn that option back on. And then finally, one of my favorite features of the dock is the ability to automatically hide and show it when I'm working on my computer. So if I turn this checkbox on, you can see that my dock disappears. How do I get it back? Well, I simply move my cursor down to the bottom and the dock will appear automatically. Perfect. I'm going to quit out of System Preferences and show you a couple more things about the dock. It's easy to add items to the dock by simply dragging an icon from a finder window into the dock itself. Let's take a look. I'm going to go to the File menu and choose New Finder Window and I'm going to click on my Applications icon in the sidebar. So let's say I wanted to add the dictionary to my doc. I'm simply going to click on that icon and hold down my mouse button and drag this down to the doc. You can see when I do so, the existing icons in the doc move to make room for the icon that I'm adding to the doc. I'm just going to put it next to the iCal icon and now my dictionary is ready to use. We can also do this with folders. If I go to my home folder, maybe I want to add my pictures folder down here into the dock. So if I click on the pictures folder and I drag it down here, you're going to notice that the icons don't move out of the way. Okay, so you need to make sure that when you're adding a folder, that you position it on the right side of the dock. And now you can see that these folders are moving out of the way to make room. 
I'm going to add this to the dock. And now my pictures folder is available from within the dock as well. If I click on this icon, it's going to display the contents of that folder as a fan, at least by default. These items here are called stacks. Let's click on the application icon to display it. And you can see that right now it's viewing the contents of that applications folder. We can control a little bit about how these stacks are displayed. I'm going to click on that icon to get rid of the display window. And if I now hold down the control key on my keyboard and click on that applications icon, you can see that I have some additional options. So for instance, I can choose how I want my information sorted that's contained within that folder. I can also choose to display this icon as a basic folder or as a stack. So if I choose stack, you can see that the icon changes to display the stack or the contents of that, that stack. I'm going to control click on that again. I can also choose to view the content. Right now it's viewing it as a grid. I can choose to view it as a fan. So it's stacked on top of one another. Or I could choose to view it as a list. This is actually pretty nice because I can actually scroll through this list very easily. Click on that icon again. Finally, I'll control click on it one more time. And I do have a couple of options such as remove from dock or I could show this folder in the finder. This is a quick way to access that folder from the folder or the stack that's in the dock. Now another thing that's new inside of Snow Leopard is that if I come down here to my finder, okay, the dock indicates the current open applications by showing a small indicator below each icon. And one thing that's new in Snow Leopard is that if I click and hold on any of these icons that have open windows, it's going to activate what's called Expose and display any current open windows on your desktop. So if I move my cursor over any of them, it's going to highlight it. And if I click on it, it'll make that the active window. If I open up a couple more Finder windows, and I click and hold on the finder icon you can see that it just makes them small enough so that we can see them all at the same time this is a great option a new feature inside of snow leopard I'm gonna click on one of these windows and then I'm gonna close all of them and that's how easy it is to customize the dock inside of Mac OS 10 snow leopard